Hey everyone, in this problem we're looking for the angular velocity of the different hands on a clock. So part A asks us about the second hand. So the angular velocity is just how much it, how many revolutions it makes per unit time. In the case of a second hand, it makes one revolution every minute. If you look at a clock, the second hand goes around, it makes 60 ticks of seconds around the clock. So that's one revolution per 60 seconds. I'm going to convert this though from revolutions to radians. So for 2 pi radians that is one revolution. So that is a conversion factor we'll be using to convert from revolutions to radians. And if we put this into our calculator then we find an angular velocity of pi over 30 radians per second or if you want to write this out in a more scientific notation-y kind of way, then that would be 1.05 times 10 to the power of a negative 1 radians per second. And that's the angular velocity of the second hand. So basically we do that same idea for parts B and C. We just, we've all seen how clocks work, so we just use that knowledge uh, to figure out what the angular velocity is. For the minute hand, it makes one revolution every hour. It ticks out all the different minutes, so one revolution for the minute hand. It makes one revolution every 60 minutes. So to keep things consistent, I'm going to convert from minutes to seconds. So that's one minute every 60 seconds. And then I'm going to do the exact same conversion from revolutions to radians. It's two pi radians and that's equal to one revolution. And if you put that into our calculator, we find an angular velocity of pi over 1,800 radians per second. Or alternatively, 1.75 times 10 to the power of negative three radians per second. And that's for the minute hand. And finally, for the hour hand. Remember, there are 24 hours in a day, but only 12 numbers on the clock. So the hour hand makes one revolution every 12 hours. So I'm going to convert again from hours to seconds. So one hour is equal to 3600 seconds. And then again, convert from revolutions to radians. 2 pi radian is equal to 1 revolution. And if we put that into our calculator, then that is pi over 21,000 radians per second, or alternatively, 1.45 times 10 to the power of negative 4 radians per second. That's two different ways of writing the angular velocity for all three hands of the clock. Finally, part D asks us to find the angular acceleration for each of those cases. Now this is fairly simple because the answer is the same for all three hands. The angular acceleration refers to how much the angular velocity changes, but if you look at a clock, or if you just understand the way time works, we're not expecting it to change, so the angular velocity of any of those hands is not changing at all. So the angular acceleration, therefore, is zero. And that's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me make more videos like this. And if you have a question or a request for a future video, my Discord server and my Twitch page are linked in the description down below. So check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.